Okay, let's call this video calibrating the 8510 with the millimeter wave um, frequency extenders that go up to 100 gigahertz or 110 gigahertz even. Uh, we had an issue here just a while back while we were trying to do some precision measurements on uh, WR10 waveguide uh, between 75 and 110 gigahertz. Turned out we could not get a proper calibration on the instrument, on the 8510. And the reason for this was that the two waveguide extensions that we have uh, coming off of the armadillos, the aluminum pieces right here, these are in effect connector savers so that we don't damage the expensive internal components um, associated with the armadillos. So we have these two precision extenders. Now those are actually two quality pieces that are in very good condition, but we were using two shorter pieces of waveguide at that point. And I'll try to tie in a photo later on, but those two pieces of waveguide uh, were actually quite damaged at the output or the input flanges here. Uh, you really couldn't tell it until you looked under the microscope how much damage there was. But there were actually little shards of metal projecting into the waveguide aperture. Uh, you actually had some distortion of the waveguide itself, so you no longer had a good rectangular waveguide opening at these ends of the waveguide. So really what would happen then when you did the TRL type calibration where you were putting both the uh, the test line section on, the little line piece, which is about a quarter wavelength long somewhere in that band. Probably more importantly, when you would put the short in place, you would install that short and what you were hoping would be a very good short right at that plane uh, was not actually a good short. It was something of a short, but it was also something of a structure where you had fingers of metal projecting down in and actually back into the waveguide. So you had some potentially resonant lossy structure that was being created rather than a perfect short circuit right at the measurement plane. So we were doing a very flawed calibration. Despite being a flawed calibration, you could then check the calibration on those two pieces of waveguide by putting them together as when you're doing the through measurement and it would appear to be a good calibration. But in reality, you had created a flawed cal set that when you did an actual measurement, then you would introduce uh, tremendous errors into that measurement. Uh, so the advice, the experience we had was that uh, the condition of these flanges, and of course these flanges too, can be quite critical. So if you're having any apparent issues with calibration on the 8510 using the extenders, uh, certainly clean up your, uh, your short, clean up your through line piece using isopropyl alcohol. And then if you can, take the extension sections off if you're using them, and you should be, and inspect them under a microscope to see what uh, their actual condition is. Could make a world of a difference for your calibration and the measurement you can do. Thanks for your time. Goodbye now.